Hey everybody, good evening. It is me, Margaret, uh, and I am here to do my week in review. I normally do this earlier in the day, but life happens, you know. Um, so yeah, here I am, week in review time. Hopefully everything is going well for you guys. If you're new here, hello, my name is Margaret, and this is my channel, Texas Gal Treasures, where I talk all about ways to make and save money. And this video, is just the week in review where I like to take a look at how the previous week went, answer questions, and talk about what the week going forward is has got in store for me. So that is what is going on. Hello in the chat. If you're watching this later uh, on the computer, the chat, the live chat, you'll be able to see over on this side. If you're on your phone, you can see what the chat was down below. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. So I also pulled up some questions that came through on some of the videos that I, I try to answer, but things have been kind of chaotic. So sometimes I'm usually really good about, about commenting back to everybody in the comment section, but uh, things have been really busy. So sometimes I'll just put a heart and try to get back to it later. But if there's questions, I, I like to make sure I get them answered. So hi, Kaylee, hi, Gina and Jill. Hello, Debbie. Hello, uh, Karen and Kathy. Hi, Brenda. How's it going? My dad's doing well. We actually all went out for lunch today. He's he's moving around. That physical therapy's messed up. You know, it's he's got to do it. But yeah, he he had my my dad has knee replaced. So yeah, you figured purple out. Yay! <laughs> That's good, uh, Patricia. So um, this is our crazy list, right? From today. Anyway, I, it, it's been really stressful. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This last week was really, really stressful. Trying to get, um, trying to pack, trying to homeschool, you know, trying to, to, to get everything done is just so hard. Uh, and now, I mean, I feel like I, I'm barely even skimming the surface with my business, you know, right now. So it's, I can see why they say house hunting or moving is is one of the most stressful times because it it was ah, you know we've been splitting time between here and Austin and it's just ah. okay anyway so this past week I don't I don't even know like let me go back and look what I had going on this week um I know I did a couple haul videos uh, so that was cool, and I, I I've stopped getting the mess the messages because I was for a little while. People were saying, oh, "I thought you're so stressed out. Why are you still buying stuff?" Um, I'm still buying jewelry because you know we have this desire, this need not need, but as resellers, we have this internal treasure hunter inside of us that makes us want to go. And maybe it's not always the wisest choice, but it is. And I'm not, you know. And on top of that. That's my only time to really get away, unless the kid, unless Randy's working, then the kids have to come with me. But that's really my only thing, other than this, coming to talk to you guys. It's the only thing that I get to do that's something for me. So I enjoy that. You're stressed too. Oh, poor Yong. Somebody go give Yong a, a massage. He needs a massage. Oh, I forgot my thing. It's in the car. Darn it, Yong. And I meant to post that picture. I'll have to do that. I got a present from Yong, but I'll, I'll share it. And uh, on my social media, which leads me to, to mention, um, I always forget to tell you guys where to find me on social media. I think I do it every now and then, but I thought I would take the time to share with you guys all of my social media stuff since we're talking about it. Let me get it out of the way. So if you don't already, um, you can find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. I also am on Twitter and Instagram at Texas Gal Treasures where I share other things, you know, images and just what's going on and all that stuff. Uh, and then I have a few groups or groups that I'm admins in. Uh, I have a group called International League of Thrifters, and that's mostly thrifting. Sometimes I'll per post merch stuff in there. A jewelry group called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. It is growing, and normally I'll do, we have a theme every month, but since things have been so chaotic right now, I really haven't. So, Things are a little wonky in the group right now, and I know that, but eventually it, it's going to get back together. <laughs> We're going to figure it out, but I've only got so many brain cells, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so another one 
is Merch University. This is one that I'm an admin in. This is Joe Clay's group. So if you're into Merch, Merch University is a great place. Lots of learning going on there. And then I changed my other YouTube channel's name. I have another YouTube channel for my homeschooling stuff, and I'm trying to get that. I started off doing videos and doing really well, and then it just got to be too much at the moment. So I'm trying to get that ball rolling again, and I changed the name instead of Texas Gal. It was Texas Gal Homeschools, so I changed it to Homeschool Honey. And the reason is that I wanted it to be more focused on not just me. Texas Gal Homeschools means it's just all about me, which is not. So Homeschool Honey is enjoying the nectar of life. So yay, that's a kind of cheesy but fun. So I have a link. I guess if you're on my main page on my YouTube channel, you can see like, check out my friends. And then there's Homeschool Honey. And I think I have Tom next and, and so on. So so there's that. Those are That's where you can find me on social media and other things. Because um, I always forget to mention it. So at that would be awesome if you go follow me over there and then you get updates. Normally I'll post, I didn't for this one, but normally I'll post like, hey, I'm about to go live and all that. So if you're interested, there is that. So let's see, okay, lots of chat in the chat, lots of chat in the chat. So, oh, thank you, Monica. Yeah, I pull, this is the, I didn't shower today because I knew we were moving stuff, so I just threw my hair up. But thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, Monica says, moving is stressful. We worked on packing today and just getting ready to pack. Stressful. Isn't it messy, though? That's the thing that's getting me is how messy it is. You would think you're packing, right? You were packing things away, and they're in the box, and they're packed away. No. We are packing, and it's a nightmare. There is stuff everywhere. I mean, so Randy came to help. We, we got a pod. So he came and he was helping get all the furniture into the pod, helping get boxes that we packed up into the pod. And it looks like a tornado went through the house. There's just stuff. I guess stuff like it didn't fit in the box or it didn't ah, stop everywhere. So now we've got to go through and straighten it. I don't know because I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> that. So there's that. Packing is not tidy. It's messy. <laughs> so um, Teresa says, it's a sickness for you, delightful for my shopping. You love to go shopping a lot. I do, but honestly, if you think about it, the all I brought was this little bag home. I didn't bring like a bunch of stuff, did I? Just like a little bag. Just a little bag of stuff, little sparkly jewelry things, right? Um, <laughs> yep. Um, the husband's new job is his job is going really well. Uh, he's loving it. He loves Austin. He's loving being up in Austin. And that was one of the other tortures for me is starting to look. I was starting, I think I was starting to look at houses too soon. And I was getting really stressed out because I'm not there all the time. So I can't go see these houses that I like. And then they're off the market because it's a really fast market in Austin. So. Yeah, when we were there last, we saw two houses, but I, we're, I, if you saw the ride along that I did, the one where I said we had to buy pepper spray, <laughs> and that one I talk about trying to figure out what part of town to live in, where we want to live, because I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, it's just, I think we just need to be there. So I had to stop looking at Zillow and all those places because... It was just so stressful looking at it and trying to figure out where we want to live and not being able to be there. And uh, so, yeah, once we're there full time, which will be soon, hopefully. Yes, <laughs> that will be good. You like that new name for the homeschooling? Other kid, you think? Um, yeah, I just felt like, okay, it's because I didn't want it to be just about it. Like this channel, okay, yeah, this is about me. Texas Gal Treasures, this is my channel. Right, but homeschool honey, it's like it's all of the honey that we do, the fun, sweet stuff that we do. Anyway, um, Monica says stuff is all over, and I only have a studio and have to look at it every day. Oh dear, I'm gonna buy plastic tubs. Oh gosh, yeah, I'm, and I, I keep buying tubs. Randy went and bought some more boxes, and y'all know how I feel about boxes, but I just had to give in and just do it. Right, when you're packing, you seem to forget to pack things because they're always there and you think it's part of the house yes charlotte um my top tip when you move house is to make up an overnight bag for all the family 
So we'll have to go through boxes. Oh, this is a good, yes, it's true. The boys do have tubs. Like I had them get a tub and say, okay, this is your Austin toy tub. You each have one. So they could put toys that they wanted to go to Austin in that tub. And that was it. And then they have a tub with their clothes. This is your clothes tub. That's it. So we'll see how that works. Things keep getting picked out of the packed up stuff though. So um, you miss being in Austin all the time. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um, on top of all this, I think I may have mentioned, I think I may have mentioned that, that we are planning on renting out this house in where we are now in Friendswood. We're planning on renting this out just in case we ever have to come back. So on top of all this, I'm having to learn how to be a landlord, which is if any of you guys are into that, I would love any tips that you've got because that's something that's new for me is learning how to be a landlord. Luckily, my friend AJ is a realtor and so she's been helping me out. She's got rentals that she does. So I feel like I'm bugging her. <laughs> like I'm, tr she's sending me all the forms. I'm filling them out. I'm like, did I do this right? Did I do this right? Okay. I'm interviewing this family. Um, this is what, this is what they, they put. Is this right? Is this right? Does that look right? She's like, she's so patient with me. <laughs> she's the best. <laughs> so that's, that's something else too. Just, it's a lot, right? It's, it's just a lot. Okay. So let me jump in. I know bringing all those boxes in the house, that's going to be, that's going to be the next bit. So coming up this week, let me go ahead and do that real fast. So on the channel this week, YouTube, let's focus on YouTube. I'm planning on doing a jewelry jar unboxing. I have a jewelry jar over there. Um, Bolo, we haven't done a Bolo video in a while. And so in International League of Thrifters and jewelry lovers and sellers, um, friends have been sharing their Bolos in the Bolo threads. So I want to share Bolos. So those are the two for sure. I did a ride along this weekend. If I can get that edited, it'll come up this, this week as well. And there was something else and I can't remember now. Can't remember it. Um, I was going to do a video where I talked about my workroom and how I'm downsizing to, cause I'm not taking all this stuff with me. And we've moved the furniture, most of the furniture out of there. And so everything is just like in tubs and on just like on the floor and it's a pile. And now it truly does look like a hoarder's room, which I think is gonna help me <laughs> to clear it out. Cause before it was sort of an organized mess. You know, but now it is a true pile of mess. And I think that's going to help me get rid of things. I think, I hope. Because my goal moving forward into the new place is that I just have my my big table where I do most of my work and packing up and everything. And I've got all my, I've got like trays for all my packing things and thank you notes and all that. So I wanna have my big table where I take my pictures and I have my trays. And then I have my one big shelf with all my jewelry stuff on it. This may be a pipe dream, but it's a goal to work towards because it's, it's not a very big, I guess it's a big shelf, but it feels like it's not a very big shelf because I have a lot of unlisted stuff. We'll see. Goals, <laughs> right? It's a goal. It's a goal. Um, Let's see, how much are, uh, I don't know. <laughs> how many hashtags do you put on my YouTube? I put as many as they let me. Well, hashtags in the description, in the tags, I, I think you have 500 characters in your YouTube tags and I use them all up as much as I can for optimizing this. Oh my gosh, Tam says, I love the latest ride along talking about that strange guy. Yeah, and, and that's a, my brother didn't realize. He saw that and he's like, oh my gosh, I'm at work. I can't watch this video. What happened? You know, he lived in Austin for a little while. And so I told him, I just kind of met. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Random weird people, there's weird and then there's weird. You know, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, that's something to consider. Safety is safety's a priority, you know. Safety is a priority. Um Let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, so yeah, if you didn't get a chance, and also I never mentioned this in videos, but I figured I would. It always helps if if you find something, if you enjoyed a video, if you share it, because I am trying to grow 
the channel and you know meet some goals that I've got as far as this the channel goes. So if you ever find a video that you really enjoyed, I would really appreciate it if you share it with friends or with someone or a group that you think would enjoy it as well. Because because okay, hang on, my guys are turning off Alexa. You got it. They got it. Okay. So I had some questions pop up um, in some of the videos, so I thought I would go through, if I can find my mouse, and answer some of them. Ta-da! And if you guys are watching and have any questions, then, you know, throw them in the chat, and I will ha be happy to answer them if I can, at, by all means. And another thing is, as soon as we get moved, I'm going to turn, I'm going to go through all my inventory that I have with me in Austin, and I'm going to start you know, start selling again because my, my stores have been, my stores have been on vacation mode. So I'm looking forward to getting that, that going again. I'm planning on just having my jewelry stuff with me. Hang on, let me wait for my son to finish. He's trying to be discreet. There he goes. Okay. <laughs> hey, Peterson. Peterson says, finally catching one live. Thanks. Oh yeah, that was that questionable character was definitely frightening. Um, adrenaline, and I did get a lot of questions like, "Why didn't you, why didn't you call the police right away?" You know, but you know when you're in those situations where it's just like, it's that fight or flight, right? You, that that kicks in immediately. That fight or flight instinct, and I was definitely in flight mode. Um, so my my first thought was, I need to get my children out of here. Oh my gosh, there are these ladies with babies that they're like, their hands are full. If that guy comes after them, their hands are like full of baby. You know, there's nothing, what are they gonna do? You know? So my instinct was just like, children, ladies with the babies, let's go, you know? Um, so yeah, that was, I don't know, when you're in that, and of course hindsight is like, oh, I probably should have called like right away. But once we got back to us, once we were safe, I felt like, okay, we're in a safe spot. I don't know why. That's just what happened. And you know, <laughs> so what happened? I called eventually. So make sure you have a good rental contract and things you wouldn't even think of. Oh yeah, Monica, this is this is true. My friend AJ, she because she manages her all um, hers, and so she said, you know, get a home warranty company so that instead of every little thing that breaks, them calling you that it's like you write it into the contract that you know they have to pay that it's like 70 bucks or whatever if they come out if the people come out and have to fix something you know so just write that in there so if like something breaks they're calling the contract you know home warranty contact people and so she's been doing this for years so she's got one that she loves and so it's like okay that's plus because i'm not going to be here you know i'm not going to be local where I can run over and fix something. Yeah. She tells this one story, I don't know if I should tell it, where this guy, one of her one of her renters couldn't, like the, the toilet kept running. And here's AJ, she at the time I think was eight months pregnant or something, and the guy couldn't fix the toilet. And so she's like, it's like he was gonna call a plumber. She's like, no, it's like a $5 part at Home Depot, go get the part and, and change out the little flap. He's like, I don't think I could do that. You know, so she's like eight months pregnant, going to Home Depot, coming over, fixing his toilet. You know, like she's like, come here, it's time for a plumbing lesson or whatever. Um, Tim says, trying to grow my channel also. What are some good keywords for haul and ride along videos? My suggestion is if you are at the point where you're making any income on your videos, whether, you know, and it took a little time, but once you start making some, I recommend um, TubeBuddy, which is a, a plugin, and they rank keywords for you. So that's what I do. I I put in keywords, and you try to think of things that um, people are going to be searching for. So no income yet. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't remember how much TubeBuddy is, but it wasn't that much. Um, but when you go to, when you let me do a quick, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I saw a, a question about glass, and I'll come back to that. When you go to, hang on. When you come up here on YouTube, this is for Tam or anybody who's got a YouTube channel. Can y'all see the top of that? Hopefully you can. Can y'all see the search bar up there? When you're, um, let, when you're searching, let's say, Paul, do you see how this drops down like this? 
call video, um, it'll start giving you suggestions of what people have searched for. So like these are ones that are ones that people have searched for most frequently. So let's say I do Goodwill. Oh, Goodwill haul pops right on up. Goodwill haul, you know, Goodwill, no, Goodwill hunting. No, Goodwill thrift haul. So like these kind of things, if they automatically pop up, are, are going to be good things to, um, to put in there. So try to think of like how else would people search for that, you know. Also, I watch Brian G. Johnson, and he's got a group called Tube, Tube Ritual. I should know. I'm really active in there messing with him. But Brian G. Johnson has a channel, and he, I don't know. He's got a great character. He's, I don't know. It's not a character. He's, he is a character. But anyway, um, so, yeah, check out Brian G. And he's got a YouTube, oh, what's it called? Tube? What is it called? Oh my gosh. And some of, some other YouTubers are in there too. So like um, Caroline, who's in the Celtic Traders and I think Chris Thrift Shop Hustlers in that group too. And Tube Ritual. Yeah, Tube Ritual is what it's called. I had to go look because I can't remember. So those are, those are some tools that I've used. Once I really started wanting to focus on growing the channel and doing more here, <laughs> that's what I did. You know, I, I signed up for TubeBuddy, you know, started following some. And, and I know Brian G does collaborations with other people. Um, so who's another one? That, there's another one that I watch too sometimes that gives good, good. Uh, I like Brian G because he's not so far removed from being new. You know what I mean? Like he, he's, he hasn't been doing it forever. You know what I mean? Like some of these guys that have been doing YouTube forever kind of have forgotten what it's like to be new and grow and try to grow and try to build up. Um, but but he's been building up. Let me find his channel real fast so I can show you. Um, and he's, you know, um, Brian G. He, <laughs> he's burning, his ears are going to be burning. <laughs> but yeah, and he's really responsive too. So if you have questions and things like that, He's really good about, you know, talk, ask, answering questions. And his group, Tube Ritual, this is him, Brian G. Um, yeah, anyway, really ap applicable strategies and tips. So if you're not into YouTube and you're watching now and you're just like, I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> um, but that's, yeah. And he's, he's pretty active. He also has a Patreon group. I was a patron for a little while, but... Um, money. When Randy lost his job, I quit. I had to stop being a patron to everybody, including Joe, who I love. So hello, hello. Good morning. And, and Tam is, and you know what? I mean, I think you do, you do stuff with um, jewelry jars and you do stuff with antique booths, which I think there's not a whole, whole lot of out there. So, I mean, I think take a look at what you're doing. <laughs> and I, this is just random. I'm not, I'm not a YouTube <laughs> Scientist, I don't know what the word is for that, but um, but yeah, see what see what's working in your analytics, see what people are enjoying, see what people are liking, watching, what what which ones get the most views and things like that, and try to incorporate a little bit more of that um, into your rotation. So yeah, anyway, but yeah, and it took a little time. Yeah, you just started on Poshmark too. Yeah, and I I mean I think there are some. There's, there's some Poshmark people out there, too. Um, okay, but I want to go back because I know there was a question about glass. And where did it go? Do, 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 do. I saw it, and then I was like, I'm going to come back. Do you have any tips or tricks on how to pack? Do you mean like to, to when I sell glass or like I'm packing it to move it? Selling it, I just you bubble wrap a lot. You know, and then you make sure the box is, you know, a good size. So if the piece is like this, you don't want to have a box that's like this because there's not much, you know, it depends on the item too. So lots of bubble wrap, lots of uh, filler to cushion it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I haven't been a princess cat. Oh, you haven't been approved for 
Princess Castrol says she hasn't been approved yet. You mean for monetizing on YouTube through Google? I'm not sure. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up. Oh, thank you, Monica. Yes, it, it really does help if you guys hit the thumbs up. Honestly, people that hit the thumbs down, that helps too because YouTube, it's all about interaction. So if you really, really didn't like me, then just don't even bother putting the thumbs down. But if you really were trying to send me a message about how much you dislike me and what I'm talking about, go for it. It doesn't bother me a bit. <laughs> yeah. Patricia says, Margaret, do you use the mock model mock-up on Printful for your shirts or just the shirt template? That's a good question. I don't know. I just use what's it's just a shirt. Have they put a model mock-up in there now? Because I haven't been I haven't been doing very much at all because I've been so busy. So I need to go look and see. Because I think it's just a shirt. Because when I was doing it, I'm trying to remember because Mikey just made a shirt and we put it on Printful. From what I remember, there was only a flat front or a wrinkle front. Maybe there's a, a model one now too. Yeah. Um, it takes time, Tam, yeah, to get it rolling. Because when I first started it, it took a while. It took a number. But once once people find once the fine people find you and the ball starts rolling, it it yeah. Oh my gosh, yes, Kaylee, this is a good question. I this is on my list. Here I'll show you. Number 13, pantry, 14, food pantry. So yeah, we have, we're gonna be going through our pantry this week. <laughs> and there's a Queen Mary's Catholic Church in Friendswood that has a food pantry. So we're gonna go through anything that's not expired. Um, we're gonna be taking it over there uh, because we have a lot. I grew up, my mom, my grandmother went through the depression. My mom grew up the daughter of somebody who went through the depression and I grew up a granddaughter, I guess. So it, it's just trickling down where you feel like you have to have a pantry full of canned goods. So we have a ton, you know, soups or like you're in the mood at, the, you know, when you go to the store and you're hungry. Okay. And you just buy too much food. Right. So I don't know what that was, but um, we have a lot of food in there or we'll buy ingredients for some, recipe like with that needs water chestnuts that we just never ended up making so yeah we're going to be going to to take things over to uh the catholics the catholic church's uh, food pantry over here yeah francis says i read a lot of people buy pool noodles at the dollar store or surrounding with the glass oh yeah totally get the pool, pool noodles and cut them um also when they go on clearance after the summertime i can hear you can get them even less for even less than a dollar um I did a video on shipping plates, I think. I know I've done one on mugs, plates, and that, and on all that, yeah. So, pending for two months, Princess Casserole says, yikes. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll happen. <laughs> it'll happen. Because you're over 1,000 subs now, right? Because YouTube changed it, where you have to have 1,000 subscribers to be monetized. Had thousand subscribers and so many views, and I don't know exactly how much that is. My my homeschool channel is like three hundred subscribers, so it's not there at all. And so it's like getting to feel, you know, nobody in the homeschool community knows me, you know, nor would they care, right? So it's not even like, uh, don't you know who I am? Oh my gosh, no, they don't know and they don't care. It's like you when you enter into a new arena. You have to show your that you bring something to the table. So right now I've got nothing. So there, yeah. Um, I met the requirements, but they people are reviewing it, not automatic. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, Patricia. I'm gonna have to look at that. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, they have the models now. See, because we just did a shirt. Michael made a shirt on Make Merch. Uh, and he wanted it like, he's like, can we order it now? So I was like, okay, let's put it on Printful instead of Merch because they, they have different color options. And he wanted this like aqua blue kid shirt color. So we did that. Oh, speaking of that, oh my gosh, you guys. did you, If you're in Merch University, I just have to share this. It's so absurd. And if you know me, I love the absurd. And it's absurd at my expense, which is even better. <laughs> Jeff Davidson, who I'm surprised is not here. Normally he's here to harass me. 
um, has created, and I'll share a link to it too. He created a shirt, and I don't know, here, can you guys see that? I'll have to zoom it in, see if I can zoom it in. He created this shirt, and it started off as a fake shirt. Many faces of Margaret, funny merch shirt. He had taken like thumbnails and created this shirt. Uh, yeah. And so everybody was like, oh, this might be too soon, Jeff. I don't know. Um, but no, I was like, this is really silly. And then he put it on a, a bag too. So it's on his website. I'm not saying you need to go buy it. I'm just saying it's just hilarious. If you need my face on a bag or a shirt, which is just silly. I, I don't know. It's just silly. And I like silly. So I thought I would share. <laughs> yeah, many faces of Margaret. <laughs> I was like, I need that on a sublimation backpack. I just need a whole backpack with my crazy face on it. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um, Patricia says, oh, did your second shop, you're, you're using the 40 free listings on Etsy. If you have, um, if you open it, did you use a new, when you opened your second shop, did you open it under a new email address? I think you have to, right? So it has to be on a new shop under a new email address. Yeah. How's my mom doing about the moving? Um, she's okay. She's not amazing about it. But I told her, well, one, you guys, I may, I've mentioned it many times. We're planning on trying to find a house that has like a mother-in-law suite, like a five-bedroom house with a, a ground floor because she can't do stairs. And um, so that's one thing we're trying to do. Another thing is I'm a member of Gulf Coast Christian Home Scholars, which is a homeschooling group for this area. And I told her, I, I think I'm going to stay, you know, I'm going to keep my membership up because they do so much. And once a month, my guys, like this week, so the first Wednesday of the month, the guys have homeschool class at the Natural Science Museum where our anthropologists and scientists and archaeologists are teaching a class to the kids. Like, where do you get that, right? Where can you go and say, I'm going to get this other than college or whatever. Like, this, this actual anthropologist is going to teach my children. This zoologist is going to teach. You know, so like once a month we get to go do that because we're, in a mem we're members in this group. Yeah, we have to pay a little bit for the tickets, but it's very, you know, it's an experience that I would never be able to, to give them. So I said, Mom, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to stay current in the group, um, in the home scholars group, so that we can continue coming for these classes. So at least at least once a month, the boys and I will be coming here for class. Now, it's the summertime. It's off. But in the fall, it'll start up again, you know, and we'll come. And we'll have to be here for more than one day. So she'll get to see us and them, you know, at least every four weeks or so. So there's that. I don't even know what the classes are this week. I forgot. So um, did you buy the bag and the shirt, Kaylee? I'll be honest. I bought the, I, I did too, because I just thought it was so funny. I don't know. It's absurd. It's absurd to me. And, and absurd is, is absurd. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I put it in my husband's name and emails too. That's strange. I don't know why. Cause I, when I, on Etsy, I have, I think I have five Etsy shops. One is like digital print, digital downloads. One is my vintage stuff. Um, and I'm thinking about when I restart everything, keeping my Texas gal treasures as just jewelry stuff. And then doing a separate one if I have any vintage items and things like that. So we'll see. I tried that a while back with books, but then I kind of got out of books. So I don't, but I don't see myself getting out of jewelry. Um, yeah. You can install the Claire chair climber thing for the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> that would that would be funny. I don't know. Um, so yeah, she's, she's my mom is she's. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, I'll link. Not that I think you guys want this shirt or this bag because it's just really just silly. But I'll link it down below later if you're watching later. <laughs> um, where are we? Okay. Okay. So questions that popped up. Hang on, I hear my kids wrestling. I'm gonna mute one second. I 
I get nervous. I start wrestling and somebody always gets hurt. Okay. If you have boys, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Questions, questions. Here we go. So one of the questions I got was from Bonnie Lee Curtis on my last haul video. Um, she was saying I should part out the games. Normally I would. And I did get a couple other questions because some of the games I picked up, they were like a quarter and then they could sell for, you know, 15 bucks, which is not what I was expecting. I was expecting more, but a few people were like, 25 cents into 15 bucks is a really good profit. I agree. I absolutely agree. But if I were somewhere else, I would be all down for that. But I'm moving, so I'm not. So I, I, if it had been like 40 bucks, then I'm all for it. So weird. I don't ask. I mean, you can ask why or just question my logic. But for me at the moment, I just don't want to have to move it if it's not more profit. So there's that. Hello, hello in the chat. Um, so another question I got was, okay, I thought I, oh no, I had, thought I had to do, 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 do comments with a the question. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm looking here. Okay, so somebody asked on one on my setting up your Etsy shop video, do you have to pay taxes when making an Etsy shop? The answer is yes. Anything you make a profit on, you have to pay taxes on. Um, but I'm not a CPA, so definitely. And I think the person said they were they were young. So talk to your parents about taxes and how to deal with with all of that good stuff. And depending on where you live, you might have to pay sales tax too. So there's that. Yeah, fun times. Welcome to being a grown up. Um, <laughs> and then on my jar of stuff video, Barbara said, "What were you thinking?" Uh, I don't know. It was just fun. So let's see. Okay, Larry was asking, "Why do I use Pick Monkey and Make Merch? Aren't they the same thing?" They're not. Um, Make Merch is everything built in. So if you're a merch person and you're, or you're new to merch, Make Merch is. Make Merch is a platform where you can go in. It's got everything. The template set up is designed for merch. And all the images there are okay to use. And the fonts are okay to use. And there's lots of filters and things like that. On Etsy, there's different sizes you can use. I mean, you can use it for merch. But it's not specifically designed for that. Yeah. I mean... And, and you can never really get a quite a straight answer about whether or not you can, I mean, it's, they say like, okay, you can use it for things. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Um, let's see. Do you have to do taxes on eBay as well? Yes. A anything supposedly, not supposedly, but any, like if you sell something on Craigslist, you're supposed to pay taxes. If you make a profit on something, you're supposed to pay taxes on it. There's that. Uh, okay, so next up, I'm looking, yeah, what's the, I already answered that one about the, the guy, so a lot of people are saying, what took you so long to call the cops? Um, on the video where I talk about the design, and I have to say, if you guys, I don't like to, I don't really want to bring it up, but you know, the whole thing with the design that was taken, and then all the, it opened up a whole can of worms, and I was getting lots of messages, well, that's died off. Not that I don't want to be there for people, but it was really stressful and I couldn't answer all the questions. I couldn't be that. Um, so somebody suggested that, you know, creating a Facebook group so people can vent or support each other when there are people that feel have ripped them off, which I mean, maybe it would be an idea for somebody, but I don't think I'm that person. Also that, that, that would lead itself into um, trolls and things. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Sorry, um, but and I think one thing I left out of the video where I, it says d design issues and I can't be what you need. Um, one thing I left out is that sometimes people that create courses or that create books or create things like that, they're often or not often, but they are sometimes accused of things that didn't happen and they don't have a they also don't have a place to go and say that's not true. That's not what happened. So it's. It's a two-way street. You know, there are people that feel like they got ripped off and want a voice, but then there are the people that create things that have trolls that are just going to try to make up stories as well. So there's, there's, a, it's a hard to distinguish between like who is telling the truth and who, what is real, and I don't know. So it's just, 
more than I could possibly be in charge of. So, yeah. Um, looking in the chat real fast. Thanks, Kaylee. Um, what did Dan say? <laughs> well, oh well. <laughs> uh, -da. Okay, so another question that came up was in the video where there's the ride along. Uh, someone asked, why do you think some items are expensive at garage sales, but it's okay on eBay or other platforms for selling them for a higher price? So my response was, you're right, you know, people are selling what they were selling at the garage sales, not for retail price, but for the price that I would sell it for on eBay. So if I were going there to buy something for me personally, maybe I wouldn't have a I wouldn't have an issue with the prices being high. I was at a garage sale. I'll step back a minute. We, at one of the places I stop at this, um, in this ride along, they had everything priced really expensively, expensively, for like $10 belts. That I mean, they weren't even like leather belts, really fancy belts or anything, but some things were really expensive. So if I wanted a belt, $10 for a belt is a good price. But if I'm wanting to sell that belt, $10 for a belt, unless that belt's going to go for a whole lot of money, is not a good price. So my response was, you know, what did I say? Um, if I were buying for myself, sure, the price is fine. But as a reseller, I can't make money off of items that are already at market price. So, And I think that a lot of us get the, that kind of question, you know, when, when people don't really understand um, that. So what we do. <laughs> I don't know. So there's, yeah. Mm, I'm looking through real fast because some of them are not really relevant all the time kind of questions. Some of them. Oh, Tammy asked if there's a way to share from merch and Etsy to Instagram. I don't think so. Not that I know of. If there is, you guys let me know. And oh dear, I don't know how to answer that question either. Sometimes I get, this is why I need your help, guys. Sometimes in the in the comment section, I don't know how to answer some of the questions. And so sometimes you guys jump in, I appreciate it, and answer for me. Because oh, sometimes I don't, either I don't, don't get to it quick enough, or I'm, I don't know the answer. So, yeah. Let's see. Hey, Amber Nicole. Um, she says, I'm excited to catch you live. Do you resize all your stuff for Etsy? I have about 10 listings that have sold five of one shirt. Didn't resize it for Etsy. I'm trying to figure out exactly what you mean. Do you resize all your stuff? I've got 10 things listed and have sold five in one shirt. Didn't resize for Etsy. Do you, I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Resize the shirt or the image, the thumbnail? Let me know. Let me know what, um, Nice, Kaylee. She says, I bought it at a yard sale. used a big glass. She bought a big glass cat for $10 and sold it for $40. That's awesome. Um, I have not seen the new Avengers movie. And I was waiting because we, we, we have not been keeping up with all of them. But this has a lot of good characters in it. So I was thinking about going. And I was asking my brother. And he said, no, they're too young. Don't do it. There's a lot of stuff. Do I resize my designs? I use the same file, if that's what you mean. So my file that I would put a shirt on a merch is the same file that I used to put on Printful. But when you're in Printful, if it doesn't look right, they have the ability for you to kind of play with it and move it around. So I do that. Um, if it When it's on the mock-up, if it doesn't look right, they have a way to, there's like a little arrowy box that lets you pull it and slide it around, move it around. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, let's see. I know I've had a ton of questions, but some of them, I don't know how many merch people, how many, of, if, you're, if you're here watching live and you do merch, just say something in the chat. I do merch or put merch or something because I hate to go through and answer all these merch questions and then there's nobody here that like, like I don't do merch, I don't care about merch, you know. Um, now here's one thing I do. I am wondering for myself is that as I'm packing up, I have a hoard. I have a hoard of jewelry jars that I need to move with me. And so I had two thoughts 
ever in my life. No kidding. Um, one is that I just bubble wrap the tar out of them and pack them up and bring them. Or I pre-record unboxing them. And then I don't feel I will burn out. I like to space them out. So that's not even an option. Never mind. I'm just going to bubble wrap them and bring them with me because I need them for a rainy day. Never mind. Okay, good, good. There's some Merc people in here. Okay, Printful, Amazon Pro. Cool, cool. Okay, there's some people. Okay, then I can answer some Merch questions. <laughs> um, the, and I scrolled past them, of course. Uh -huh. So, yeah, things have been really, they, I want to say they've been slow, but things have been picking up, honestly, as, in, as far as Merch goes. I haven't been uploading anything, so I feel like if I'm making any sales, I feel happy about that. So... And there, there have been a lot of changes. They're going to be, you know, taking back, not taking back, but they're going to, if shirts are refunded. Yeah. How do you do? Okay. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, good. There are quite a few of you. So, I mean, even if you just dabble with the merch and you make five bucks, you know, it's, it's every little bit, right? Helps. Every little bit. Okay. Now I've scrolled past all my merch questions. Let me scroll back up. Uh, so I promise asked, what is your favorite drop shipping site that services Europe and Printful does? If you're on Printful, you have the choice to to choose just US or US and Europe. Is it Europe or UK? I think it's Europe. So there's that. Oh, where was my other merch question that came up? Uh, well, maybe I answered them all. Okay, I answered the pig monkey one. Well, if another one pops up. Do I go to any charity sales? I I went to one this weekend, which was hosted by the school, and they were raising money for stuff. But I don't, we don't, I don't, I mean, churches have sales every now and then, but I like them when I find them. I'll put it that way. But I don't find them very often. Do I have to reverse print? I don't think so. I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, though. Great station. Um, Kaylee says, can you sell shirts for a long period of time? What do they have, a time limit on how many you can sell? No, I mean, you once on merch, if you're not on merch yet, or if you're waiting to be approved, go. there's links for Etsy and Printful down below. And I've done a bazillion videos on it, too, so... Um, once you put a design up and you have 90 days for it to sell, if it doesn't, is it 60 days, 90 days, this is how out of the loop I am right now. Uh, you have so long for it to sell. If it doesn't sell, they take it down. If it sells, then it's up there. And then every time it sells, you get the, the profits off it or the royalties that is. Uh, I used to do a lot of eBay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I think that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm going to have some, oh, there's some more questions. Hang on. Um, but I'll have some videos coming out this week, jewelry, more jewelry and reseller-related stuff, and I can't wait to start selling again. I actually had Randy take the printer and everything, so I can't even ship if I wanted to because it's all done. Um, Janet says, if Amazon ups my amount of shirts, I can have, a hundred. It takes me a while to get that many up. Will Amazon decrease my amount? No, they haven't for me. Let me double check. <laughs> no, as far as I know, once I mean they'll they'll start every now and then they'll increase. You know, like oh, you are at the because I'm on the four thousand tier. Okay, you can list two hundred shirts a day, which is kind of nuts. But then they'll raise it. Right now, it's like four hundred shirts. You can list Margaret. You can list 400 shirts a day if you want, <laughs> which is mind blowing. But then every now and then they'll drop it, you know, so they'll just say, okay, but they don't do it like just to one person. It's just like, okay, everybody on this tier, boom. Now you can list a hundred shirts a day or, you know, they'll, they'll do it just across the board for whatever reason they have. I don't know. So how many, Kaylee says, how many jewelry jars do you have left to look at to see what's in them? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe eight-ish. 
because I have a shelf on my in my workroom, and so I kind of stick them up there. So when I when it you know, because sometimes I'll buy when I go to a place where I find them and they look good, I just buy the lot of them, you know, or I'll buy one time I bought like six at one go. And so I just stick them up there. And so I have one sitting over here. My son and I went, he and I unjarred one privately, shame on us, because he wanted to split it with me. So I did one privately with him where he got to pick out, he picked out everything he wanted basically. But then we bought another one at the same time. So that's the one I'm gonna unjar. I can't decide if I should do it tomorrow or if I should do it Tuesday. I don't know, because I was going to do the bolo video. I think I'll do the jewelry jar tomorrow. Did merch royalties recently, lowered recently? I hadn't checked my account, but I just know some sales royalties a lot lower now. Well, <clears throat> they changed it a while back. And if your shirts were selling and you were getting a $5 profit at the time that they lowered it, now it's like a two or three, two fifty or $3 profit. So... So yeah, what I have been doing is when I see that, like, oh, this shirt has got like a $2 profit, I'll go in and adjust the price on it. So it, it happened a little while ago, but honestly, uh, some days I don't I don't even have time to go through and check. I'm looking now, I sold four shirts today so far. But hey, you know, that's, what is that today? $15, so, <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, so it, it dropped, right? But I mean, I, I figure I haven't done anything. So that's $15 I made today without doing anything. Uh, let's see. I don't like that Printful doesn't show the color names. Oh, this is true, like Amazon does, Patricia says. And I do get questions every now and then because I had one shirt that was like Kelly green or grass or there were like three greenish colors. And the person was like, I don't know which green is the one that I'm supposed to pick. And I agree with you there. Yeah. And oh yeah, she'll yeah, she'll bidding. Yeah. Um how do I keep my necklaces from tangling up? I'm thinking you mean once I've got them listed. I, that's another video that's gonna be coming when I get my workroom cleaned up, is I'll show you how I sort how I store everything because I have little it's like a tool drawer thing with these little drawers that are labeled. So each drawer doesn't get that much in it. So there might be a, a little drawer that has maybe three necklaces in there. I could bag them, but I don't have all the little baggies yet. It's just a project I couldn't tackle right now. So that might be something I do come going forward. Pardon me, pardon me. Okay, I think I think we're good. I've got a big long list of things to do and I'll do a jewelry jar tomorrow. Um, I don't know exactly when, but if you go follow me on Texas Gal Treasures, or if you hit the little bell ne next to the subscribe button, it will notify you when I'm going live. So if I get a live video set up, it'll send you a little alert saying, Margaret's about to go live or something like that, or Margaret started the live video. But if you are on, um, if you follow me on Facebook, then I'll post there so you'll know. And then I'll post it maybe five or 10 minutes before I start. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dan, for sure. Oh, good, good tip. Carol says I use the snack bags from the Dollar Tree for necklaces. That's a really good tip. Cause I was thinking about buying some of those little, I'm thinking about it like as far as branding goes, buying those little ones and then getting some, some stickers you know, to put on them. And then that could go, because I use velvety pouches. That could go in the little pouch. And, oh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just, when I restart everything, I just want to start off on the right foot. You know? I don't know. Okay. okay. Uh, let me know how your week is going, you guys. And, oh, before I go to, do you guys have Alexa? Because do you like it or do you dislike it when I tell Alexa to play a song? Because I like it, but you may not like it. But it may just be a thing that you can just say, stop, Alexa. I don't want to hear that, that Margaret would just play for us. But I like it as a, a, a way to say goodbye and get you a little a little groove or a little music to feel my, my mood, whatever mood I happen to be in that day. So, yeah. Barcode everything. No way. No, thanks. 
that might be that might be awesome for somebody else. Okay, awesome. So before we go, I'm gonna say, Alexa, play Uptown Funk, Uptown. and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye, everybody.